Good morning. Welcome to the DFS Army YouTube channel. I am Razzle11, and you can find me on X at Razzle11Grinds. Going to take a look at some pitching for today, the 1st of June. It is Saturday. We do have a nine-game day slate and a five-game main slate for us today. Uh, as always, this is a first look at the options. I tried to go more in-depth for the members at DFS Army. I will be looking at DraftKings since that was where a majority of my action is. If you are a FanDuel user, uh, you certainly want to stick to kind of the top tier options as you don't have to be as creative. Uh, pricing is not as tight on FanDuel as it is on DraftKings. But let's dig in quickly here. Uh, at the top during the day, you get Chris Sale. Um, K prop of seven and a half, juice on the over, massive home favorite, uh, minus 310, taking on the A's. Uh, massive favorite and a game total of just seven and a half, even. So, um, the A's just aren't being given much chance. Sale has been absolutely phenomenal for the Braves, uh, even better when pitching at home. Not much needs to be said. Um, obviously, Oakland does have some guys that have shown some power against left-handed pitching, but they do strike out a ton as well. Uh, it's going to be tough to, you know, get away from sale unless we find out there's some weather. Uh, I have not seen any weather updates yet for today, so obviously always something to pay attention to. But as it sits right now, now, well, I apparently have an, an accent, but, um, Sales easily the top option for me on the slate, and I haven't even looked at any of the other names. Joe Ryan, it's been really steady. Um, overall numbers on the season, better than I thought. I'm just not sure that I want to take him in Houston. He's coming off of a couple uh, really strong starts, but he also has struggled in some, some spots as well. So if I'm going to pay... Five figures for a pitcher. It's definitely going to be Chris Sale over Joe Ryan on the slate. Then you get a pretty big drop off to Garrett Crochet. Um, I'm obviously on record saying that I think Crochet finds a wall at some point just because he's not used to starting every five or six days, uh, plus all the arm injuries. But he's been absolutely phenomenal as a starter. A couple bad starts in a row and then straightened it out again. Uh, I know Milwaukee is scoring some runs. I get that, but Crochet has just been really good. So at this point, I think we just have to go with Crochet um, and live with it. K props at 7.5. Juice is on the under in that one. Uh, game total of 7.5 with Juice on the under as well. So uh, I think Crochet is definitely a viable option, especially at 1K cheaper. Excuse me. Then Joe Ryan. Kyle Bradish, I'm going to keep playing Kyle Bradish, coming off an 11, 11K performance. Uh, big Bradish fan, as long as he's obviously staying healthy. Tampa Bay is definitely a lineup I have picked on with pitching, so why not go back to picking on them with a guy like Bradish? K prop of 6.5, Juice is on the under in that one. But he is a minus 166 home favorite. Just not going to go to Lively. Bybee actually struck out a bunch of Nats last night. Um, I just do not believe that Lively is this good. Um, maybe I'm going to continue to be wrong, but at this point, I feel somewhat hot committed. You know, the way he's thrown this year in Cleveland is nothing like what his major league career had been previously. So I just don't want to go there. Maybe it'll bite me. Uh, so be it, but... Um, plus, we just generally don't see Washington strike out enough. Uh, Lively's K-Prop is 5.5 with juice on the under. He's just a minus 155 favorite, which kind of strikes me as a little low um, considering. So I think I'm just going to go elsewhere. Maybe it'll bite me. Maybe not. Uh, we will see. Taj Bradley. Struggled against Boston, but still struck out 10 and had a respectable performance. Been really solid. 
Uh, I think he's got a ton of upside. K prop of five and a half, but he is a, an underdog. Game total of just eight, just on the under. Uh, it is a tough matchup, uh, but to me, I feel like he has more upside than Lively in this spot. Um, maybe it's just because overall I like Bradley more as a major league pitcher. Uh, it certainly could be it, but I still don't know if I want to use too much Bradley at this point because, you know, picking on Baltimore at home just doesn't seem like a fun idea. Framber Valdez, I'm not really sure what to think of Framber. Uh, he's all over the place. I know he has the upside to dominate a team like the Twins. He's a minus 130 favorite. Game total 7.5, juice on the under. Um, K prop of 5.5. Minnesota is such an extreme platoon team that I don't know. I'm going to have to kind of dig into that one a little bit more. I want to use Framber, but he's burned us so many times and just doesn't look the same at this point. So uh, if you if you want to fade him, uh, I would not argue against it. I think he's somebody that I might want to play a little bit of, but we'll see as I dig in more. Michael Lorenzen, K-Prop of 4.5 juice on the under. Taking on the Marlins. Game's a pick em right now. Um, I'm interested in Lorenzen just because we've been picking on the Marlins. I think he has upside in this matchup, but I don't see myself going too heavy. Um, you know, I think I'd use a little bit of Alec Marsh. I think they're kind of similar to me on the slate. Lorenzen just ha has a better matchup better pitching atmosphere, etc. Other side, Ryan Weathers. Weathers has looked really good. Texas offense overall has kind of scuffled a bit. Um, I might actually be more interested in Weathers now that I look at it than Lorenzen, which is weird to say considering Texas' offense um, is generally one we want to get exposure to. His K-Prop's better, 5.5, but Juice is still on the under for him as well. Um and like I mentioned, is basically it is a pick 'em. So at this point, I think I might lean Weathers over Lorenzen, which feels disgusting to point out, I guess. Uh, Joe Musgrove looks like he's throwing the ball a little bit better. Um, not really sure I want to pick on Kansas City right now with a pitcher. Uh, I think people will play Musgrove, uh, but I think we can. I feel all right in passing on him. And not missing out on a, you know, maybe an 18 to 20 fantasy point game. So I feel like we can match that with some of the other guys. Um, Criswell has had some decent starts. I'm going to consider him just because he's against, against Detroit. Um, he is a very slight underdog. It's very close. Um, K prop with just four and a half juice on the under. But I think I'm going to consider him more than Musgrove. I might not get to him at all, because I do plan on playing Robert Gosser. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, man, this start against the Cubs is one that we kind of expected to see from Gosser as a, a big-time pitching prospect uh, with a lot of Ks in the minor leagues. But he's had a couple starts where he just wasn't picking up strikeouts either. K prop of five and a half juices on the under. He's a minus one sixty two favorite. Game total of seven and a half with juice on the under there. Uh, it's a pitching matchup that I like for fantasy purposes. So uh, I think I'm going to go decently strong at Gosser. Uh, I will have some exposure to White Sox bats though. Uh, Corey Jelks has been swinging it really well. Uh, Tommy Pham. Maybe more mini stacks for the White Sox just in case, but uh, there are some guys that I'm definitely interested in utilizing. Um, I mean, we've used Minaya, Sikoni, but Reese Olsen being 6,300, uh, I'm not sure I understand why. Obviously not a gigantic K guy by any means, but he is a very slight favorite in this game on the road. 
K-prop of five and a half juices on the under. But this just feels like too cheap of a price for a guy that can get us mid-20s fantasy points. Um, and since I feel like his upside can match the guys near the top, I will gladly include him in my pool at that price point. Uh, so there's a look at the nine-game slate. Let's look at the five-game real quick. Um, a little more straightforward, but this one's got more names involved. Ranger Suarez has been phenomenal. Coming off of a rough start in course, but still put up 19 fantasy points. Definitely going to be played against St. Louis. K prop of 5.5. Uh, Yamamoto, obviously. K prop of 7.5. Juices on the under. Coming off of a rough start. It's kind of alternated. Bad starts and good starts recently. Uh, down under 10K now. Back to 9,600. Very intriguing for me. I assume he's a massive favorite. Yeah, minus 340. Uh, probably going to be pretty popular on this slate. I will be using Sonny Gray. I know Philadelphia has the best record in baseball. Gray's, Gray's K prop is 6.5, which is on the under. Um, he is a slight underdog, but this game has just a, a total of just 7. Um, so it's a good spot to target the pitching. Uh, obviously, we'll play some Phillies bats, but uh, I think Sonny Gray is certainly viable. Bryce Miller, uh, far better when pitching at home where he's at this evening. Uh, he's had some tough matchups recently. Uh, the Yankees, Baltimore, Houston multiple times. Atlanta, who he absolutely dominated. Texas, a Cincinnati offense that's dangerous. Um, he's shown some dominant ability against some of these tough teams. So minus 166 favorite with a K prop of six and a half. Juice on the under, but uh, somebody that I want to be pretty heavy on, I believe, in that matchup. Hunter Green, biggest thing for me is he's just not allowing the home runs this year. Um, I think his K rates are down just very slightly, but I think he's developing into – a very strong major league pitcher, uh, not just a strikeout guy. K prop of six and a half juices on the over. Game total of just seven. Uh, that tells me the wind is not ideal for Wrigley. Uh, he's a slight underdog, but I think he has plenty of upside. So somebody definitely we're going to use. I mean, this is a slate where we're going to probably use most of the pitchers. Um, not really going to use Logan Webb, even though he's pitching at home. Uh, we're He's generally a much stronger pitcher. I'm just not using a pitcher against the Yankees right now. Justin Steele, I think, is certainly viable coming off of a very strong start. Seemed like he turned things around. Uh, he is a favorite against Hunter Green and the Reds. And like I mentioned, game total of just seven. Steele's K prop is six and a half as well. Another spot where I will gladly use both pitchers. Uh, same thing here. Reed Detmers, I think there's a ton of K upside for him. Uh, he hasn't been super sharp. Uh, really hasn't been good for over a month. But uh, he's a guy that wants, once he gets rolling, he can definitely get it done. Taking on a Seattle team that strikes out more than any team in baseball. K prop of 5.5 with juice very strongly on the over. Uh, like I mentioned, game total of just 7 in this one. I think he's a, certainly a GPP viable guy. And because of his price point, I assume he's going to be in a decent amount of, like, Yankees stacks. Um, and maybe in Dodger stacks. I have to dig into Cody Poteet a little bit more. Uh, getting the call up. Made one start this year. Was dominant. Uh, great pitcher's park, but I'm going to need to dig in more. His K-prop is just 3.5. With juice on the under, even. so. But there we have it. There's the first look at pitching throughout the day. If you enjoy what I bring to you, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, turn the notification bell on, get the alert anytime we drop videos here at DFS Army. If you want to join us, get access to our coaches, tools, sheets, Discord, etc. I'll put links in the description below. You can use promo code RAZ, that's R-A-Z, for 10% off monthly. And as always, best of luck, everybody.